I had my second interview. How did it go? Well... I've been in sales for over 30 years, and it's what I'm good at. I sold all these houses. Well, the market kind of tanked, and I got laid off in 08. Daily, I check eight different job sites. You just can't believe it's gone on for six months, 12 months, 18 months. You're like, oh my god, is this really reality? I'm too young to retire. I have basically paid my mortgage with most of my IRAs over the last year while I've applied for 200 jobs. I'm circling the drain. I'm, I'm on my last IRA. I don't know what else to do. When I first met Leslie, she felt dejected. She was down and out. You could tell her energy was low. She was frustrated. She didn't believe in herself. She didn't believe in her abilities or the job search process because everything was failing from her. After my segment aired on Remake America, one of the comments that I received was from a local gentleman, Kent Lee, and he runs Perfect Resume. Hi, Kent. Leslie Griffith. Good to meet you. He had some recommendations on how I can improve my resume. We're going to build into your resume all of your key accomplishments, so I need you to go back, do some research, so okay. that we can really dial up the accomplishments. Then we're going to get this information onto your LinkedIn account because your LinkedIn profile is a virtual resume. Recruiters can do keyword searches and they can find you rather than you find them. Anytime we review a sales resume, we want to know what are your sales accomplishments. So if this customer service award trip winner, I'm probably going to take this off your resume. I understand what you're saying, but that customer service award was really a prestigious award. It was very difficult to achieve. I sold over $24 million in homes to win that award. I'm very proud of that. The people on the right. other end, they don't understand that you won a sales incentive trip, that you ranked in the top 10% of the company, and that you sold $24 million in homes. So that line went from being customer service award winner to sales incentive trip award winner. That one little change, I think, helped rebuild her confidence. I don't know what to expect, but I, it can only go up from here. Just want to update everybody on what's been going on. I have two job interviews Monday with people that contacted me on LinkedIn. Can you imagine they're contacting me? A lot of people will maybe review a website's uh, homepage for the company and do a little research like that, but the plan to go into an interview is just, hey, they'll ask the questions and I'll answer them. Well, that isn't really a plan. I'm on my way to a job interview. I'm so excited. We gave Leslie a strategy to accomplish three main things during her interview. I've done my research on the company. Hopefully, I'm a good match for what they're looking for. We wanted her to drive home the top three reasons why she's a good fit for the job. We wanted her to separate herself by asking great questions. And we wanted her to sound like an expert by using some of the key language. And then lastly, we wanted her to be herself. I'll just do the best I can. Kent? Hey! Got a what's minute? up? What are you doing here? Well, I just thought I'd stop in because I had my second interview. How did it go? Well, I got the job. You are freaking ah! kidding me! <laughs> Hug it out! <laughs> I am so excited for it! That is so awesome, the sales manager job? Yeah. Oh my God, what awesome news for a I know. Friday. I was very confident that Leslie would get a job. My original timetable, I thought 90 days to do it in 30. Man, it is that is just something special. I'm so proud of her. I'm so excited. I know, it's just, just like the great. I know, it's just crazy. <laughs> I'm the new sales and marketing manager for a temporary housing company. She just took the systematic approach that we gave her. She redid the resume. We updated her LinkedIn profile. We got all the key language from her resume into her LinkedIn. We used a customized job search approach. We did the interview coaching and it all just came together. Man, it, uh, it worked terrific. I'm super proud of her. The advice that I would give to people that have been unemployed for a long time would be, first and foremost, to understand that you are not alone. There are so many people out there just like you. But the one message I want people to know is that you have to be open to change. The reason that you're still unemployed is because what you've been doing to date is not working. So be open to the idea of getting some help, allowing someone to help you, or finding the appropriate help, knowing that you might need to interview coaching. One of the big mistakes a lot of people make is that they undervalue the importance of the interview. So people have to go in 
knowing that they need a plan and that they need some coaching and then probably they need some help with the resume as well.